thanks for watching that Christian fam. If growing in the faith is important to you, hit that subscribe button because over here we like to encourage, empower, and give you everyday practical Christian advice on real life situations. We drop videos whenever we drop videos. So hit that notification bell because for the first hour, we respond to comments immediately. All right, y'all, let's get it. Does your spouse complete you? Okay, so let's answer that on the count of three. Okay, ready? One, two, three. No. <laughs> okay. Heck no. So we agree. Yeah. Heck, same, heck no. That same view. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it, it puts completely too much pressure on your spouse. Yeah. Like that's a lot of pressure to put on somebody to to expect someone to complete you. Right. That's a lot. I know it sounds wonderful, and it sounds great in movies. <laughs> oh, you, you know complete I can't. Me. <laughs> yes, you complete me. I cannot live without you. I can't breathe, baby. Like that type of stuff. Like I don't want to go on. Right. Who's saying that? Who's saying that? Man, that? Yeah, can't can't say that? Man, okay, can't you. yeah, that sells a lot of records right there. Yeah. You know, sounds real nice. The sun. Moon and star, all that. Yeah, that sounds wonderful. Yeah. But if we're gonna keep it a buck, no, that's too much pressure to put on anybody. Like, yeah. I didn't sign up to like complete nobody. I ain't gonna be nobody else's half because guess what? I'm too busy trying to be a whole me. Yeah. All right, there's a lot of pressure on being a whole complete me. All right, so I need to complete myself in Christ. Mm. All right. <laughs> yeah. Christ completes me. Christ. It's yeah, too that's much the pressure. That's the, I think that's the bottom line. Mm. We have to depend on Christ to complete us, right? And yeah. our first. Person. If you depend on a person to complete you, you're constantly going to be disappointed, yeah. right? Because, like you said, each person should be trying to focus, be focused on being whole themselves. Yeah, you know. And here's the thing: I think that spouses should enhance one another. Mm -hmm. Now, if we're talking about enhancement as opposed to completion, those are two different things. Mm -hmm. You're not going to complete the other person, but should you add something to the other person's life? Yeah. Of course, yeah. you know that's fair to say, but. Here's the thing, like we alluded to in a previous video. If that person has holes and voids because mm -hmm. of certain things that they're fighting with and dealing with internally, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter how much you try to pour into them, it's, there's gonna be some leaks. So there's voids that only God can fill. Right. You know, mm -hmm. some patchwork that only he can do. Right. That a human, you know, like you could feel like you have it all. The romance, the house, the cars, the kids, the flowers, the romance, the trips. But if you are still battling something within yourself, that's why you see people in Hollywood all the time who you hear these stories about how they end up trying to fill holes. Mm -hmm. Right. And it seems like they have it all. You're like, oh, no financial On a quest worries. to find themselves. You know, yeah. to find themselves or to deal with a hurt maybe from childhood or even from any point in their life but unless God does the patchwork mm -hmm. you're always going to be seeking it's just you're going to feel that emptiness that void right so it's dangerous to look for a person to complete you because you know we pray it never happens but if something were to happen to that person and you don't transition at the same time does that mean <laughs> you go back to being incomplete right I mean it's just something to think about yeah it's something to think about too yeah and that's a good point like you know life unfortunately yes we, we understand that people pass away but life goes on yeah, I mean, yeah, and of course yeah, it would be sad. Cause yeah, it'd be about sad. Of course, yeah, trust cry. me. Yeah, yeah. You trust better me. cry. Yeah, you better cry. Yeah, <laughs> trust me. Yeah, if something, something happened to me, trust me, chick. Don't be moving on like the next week because right. I will pop out the grave <laughs> looking for you, coming for your whole life, all right? I done already lost mine, so I ain't got nothing to lose. Uh-uh. <laughs> but <laughs> too much. Yeah, man. and you know that. You know, yeah. of course you're still going to feel that, but yeah. what we're saying is that to the point to where you no longer have an existence. Yeah. Yes, and not to say hopeless. that it's not hard. You become desolate. Yeah. You become a zombie, so to speak. Yeah. Like, and not to say you won't cry, because you're gonna you better feel emotions if you love that person truly loved your spouse. You yes. better feel some kind of emotion. Ain't gonna be no cartwheels or nothing like no, that. No, no, but <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no cartwheels like woo! Ding dong. Ding. Like I made it. No, yeah, yeah. No. no, 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 exactly, exactly. But just but take it back to the word. Bottom the word. line, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, the, the, take it back to the word. The word says that you know, we've been endured for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And when we talk about Christian 
Christians mourning. Yeah, we should mourn, but we should not mourn as those who have no hope. Yeah. Meaning, guess what? If something happens to your spouse, you feel you like you don't have a purpose. Yeah, you feel like anymore. you ain't got no purpose, no drive, no nothing. Yeah. All right, like, but guess what? You, God, if you still here on this earth, God has a purpose for you. But when I start thinking about how people say things like, and side note, side note, if you have experienced that loss, we are praying for God to give right, you peace. Right. Right. Exactly. Just so you know. Yeah. 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 But when I start thinking about when people say things like, you know, they complete me, I think that's too much power to give to one person. It is. That's too much power. Like you realize how much power you just gave that person when you say you complete me. That's a lot of power to give somebody. Mm -hmm. That's like saying, because guess what? If you say they complete you, if they start acting sideways all of a sudden, <laughs> then what does that make you? That makes you half a person? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Like, listen, none of that is biblical. There's yeah. nothing in the word of God that talks about how someone else completes them. Matter of fact, when Adam, Adam was a whole person. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, you know, God said, looked at him and said, it's not good for him to be alone, but he never <laughs> said that Adam was an incomplete person. He yeah. was a whole dude. All yeah. right. And then what happened? Adam came, I uh, was well, sorry, Eve came, was called out of his out of his rib. All right. Mm -hmm. So, but we need to understand it is very unhealthy for us to say things and actually believe that other people complete us. Yeah. We need to become complete people, one with Christ. Yeah. Know Christ. our purpose, yes. and know our value. So that we don't put too much con too much control and give too much power to another person all yeah. right the only person that de deserves that power or the only spirit that deserves that power is god and, and that's it Amen. because they have the power to complete you the text says you need to fear the one who can destroy the body and the soul and when he said that he was talking about himself god mm. he was talking about you need that's what you need to fear and that's what you need to worry about completing you so don't seek your purpose in man don't seek your purpose in another spouse don't seek your purpose in the next boyfriend seek your purpose in christ mm -hmm. and that's when you come become complete yeah and like you said just to kind of wrap it up too or like we said earlier that enhancement part yes you know there's gonna be things i bring to the marriage that are strengths that and you're gonna bring your set of strengths too right mm -hmm. so we enhance each other mm -hmm. and um supplement but as far as completing no no i tried to fight for us i tried to fight for trust